Google Gemini now allows you to create AI enabled websites directly from the Gemini app. And this is a hidden feature within Gemini, which I'm going to show you in this video. And just to explain what AI enabled websites are is it will build your website in code, which it's been able to do for a while. It's now a lot better at doing that, but now it implements AI features into the website. And what that does, it allows the user to put in a prompt and get a response out from Gemini rather than static code that's on your website or code from a database. And this is a really nice feature that you can play around with now straight from the Gemini app. So let's head over to Gemini and I'm gonna show you how to create AI enabled websites. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Gemini app at gemini.google.com, pick 2.5 Pro and ask it to write me some posts for an Irish website in a blog style and things to include. So this is going to give me the content I need for my AI enabled website. So it's given me the top 10 spots to fish in Ireland. And then once I'm happy with this, I'm going to turn on the canvas button here and then turn this into a website. So I'm going to say turn this content into the website for design, mimic the leading social media websites such as Instagram and TikTok and make sure that canvas is on. So when the canvas is on, this starts thinking about how it's going to build it from a technical aspect. So CSS, JavaScript and HTML is the language of web design. And then it starts building that website right in the browser. So the beauty about this is that you're seeing the web design taking place here. And also when this is finished, you're going to be able to see that live website in the preview. So essentially you can just take the code that's generated here and then put it into your website. Gemini has provided me a decent base for my fishing website with pop-up modals. But what I can see here is there's no images for any of the pictures. So what I can do is I can just provide those in. Gemini isn't going to be able to come up with images on your own, but you can just give the URLs of the images in and I'm just asking it to cycle through the images here and that's what it's done. This is the button I wanted to tell you about. This is add Gemini features. So what this will do is this will add Gemini to your website. So for users, they can query things with an AI agent. And what this does is it just comes up with a couple of different AI features and it implements them into the website. And you can see here that there's an API key and a Gemini prompt in here. And when you're finished, you can just add your own API key in here. These are the two AI features that's come up with. Suggest a trip plan and a fishing story idea. So this took Loch Corrib and then asked Gemini what I should do on my trip to Loch Corrib. And it's come up with things in Loch Corrib to do in the day, where to visit. And the other AI feature is fishing story idea. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but it's coming up with an idea based on Loch Corrib. Just we're on Loch Mask in County Mayo now. And that's again, looked into Loch Mask with Gemini and asked what I should do in the day and set out a daily plan. So lots of things you can do with this you can implement search and many different things here. We can go in and actually change these prompts. You can see how the prompt is created here. And it's just a case of changing the prompt here to make it a little bit more general, but a really nice feature because you've got the bones of an AI website without having to do much development work. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deep research report. So I have done deep research on the Hilton Hotel here and the Hilton Hotel's European history. This has given me out a full report, maybe about 20 pages of a report. And again, what I can do with this is I can turn this into a website because I've got so much information here and I can just create either a web page or an infographic. I'm going to create a web page and Gemini is going to come up with a web page based on that deep research report. And it's going to do the same thing as it did in the last session where it'll start creating the HTML, creating the JavaScript, creating the CSS. And this is what it's come out with a nice website to explain the history of the Hilton Hotel in Europe with a lot of different features in here. But again, I want to alter this slightly. So I've given it an image of the Hilton website and asked it to change the design slightly to match that. I've also asked it for an AI feature where I can type in the name of a European city and then I can pull out the different hotels generated from Gemini. So the top five hotels in that city. So it's called find your stay. I'm going to look for Paris, find hotels and down the bottom Gemini has created five Hilton hotels in Paris. And then I can go and change my prompt here. Just ask AI for Dublin, go down and you can see that the Gemini is coming back with the five hotels from Dublin. So a nice custom AI feature there, but really it's uplifted the site because I've given it that sample site of the image of the actual Hilton website. 
I think this is a really nice feature in Gemini to give non-technical people the ability to start working with AI and to see how it works in the back end and start putting it on websites and apps. This does need a bit of back and forth prompting in order to work out some of the kinks like that markdown coming out in the response. But if you go through a few iterations with the prompt, you're gonna to get to a stage that you'll be happy with. I think this will be improved with later versions of Gemini, but a really good start from the Gemini team and a feature I think has gone without any fanfare. I hope you found this video useful. Follow the channel for more Google AI videos.